What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. Today, I was sitting over by my pond and I put a thousand minnows into this pond and my fish basically ate all of them. And it got me thinking about this product I have here. It's 10,000 fish shimmer swimmer and uh, th this is actually <laughs> what the minnows look like and the fish inside my pond just annihilated them. So I wanna talk a little bit about them. Uh, this video is actually sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. So uh, they have really great products at really great prices. I'll link everything below so if you guys want to, if you're interested in checking out this bait specifically or more baits by Carl's, I'll link that down there so you have easy access. With that being said, let's go over to the tackle table and talk about it. So let's go. What's up guys? All right, so you've heard me talk about these uh, chartreuse Carl's Amazing Baits freestyle swim baits. This is one of my favorite swim baits for bluefish and stripers and whatnot. So you've heard me talk about these before in my videos. So I went ahead and got 10,000 fish shimmer swimmer. All right, so this is pretty dope. My initial intent for these was to use them upstate for pike and smallmouth bass, which they're the perfect size. They're three and a half inch. But I want to show you guys these fish. All right, so they are super, super jiggly. All right, so they're not made out of cheap stuff. And they also have strobe strips. That's what they call those reflective little things inside of their bodies. They call those strobe strips. But they're neat little guys. They got a good tail, really stretchy, and they are my favorite chartreuse color. So I'm gonna show you guys how to rig them or what I would normally rig them with. Let's go. So as you can see, I've got weights and rigs and jigs and everything all over but i got this little stand-up jig right here that's what they do with little twist tie i would if i was fishing the bottom for finicky bass or bed fishing for for smallies or whatnot i would twist this little swim bait on and work that jig hook up and work it on the bottom give it a few twitches you can still swim it with this the paddle tail is still going to swim but that would be one presentation it would look like that second presentation would be simply cutting off the head. I mean, you don't really want to do that with this, but if it came down to it and I needed a small bait to catch some fish with a swim jig head, then I would use this, cut off that little head because I have the head on the jig here and I would work it through here with that exposed hook. So that would be my second way of rigging this. This hook might be too big. This is a quarter ounce jig head. So it might be too big. Might have to go down to an eighth ounce, but that's how I would rig that. The last presentation I'm gonna to talk to you guys about would just be a simple three-aught offset hook. I would put that in here, work it up like that, and then I would take either a bullet weight or like a little, just a little weight, like a drop shot weight, and put it a couple inches in front and work it like a Carolina rig. So those would my, be my three presentations that I would use for a 10,000 fish shimmer swimmer. By all means, if you want to purchase these shimmer swimmers by 10,000 fish, I'll post a link below. That way you guys can get them at a very good price. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this kind of content, let me know below what you guys want to see next, what you want me to see reviews, how I rig certain things, what gear I use, whatever you want. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys are up for working with me on the Smooch and Release brand, I'm looking for pro staffers. We're going to work with you, help you guys grow, and uh, we'll grow together. So I'll post a link to an application or description of the pro staffers below this video. If you're interested, hit it and follow the directions there. Should be fun. Anyway, guys, stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. I'll see you next time.